this video is going to provide an overview as far as Wix.com. Again, you have many, many different options as far as WYSIWYGS, what you see is what you get, type of editors that you can create portfolio websites to prepare you to upload and enter, you know, the job search. So first things first is it's going to need an account. Now up in the corner here, I've already logged in. You can just log in using a Gmail. Uh, if I recall, you can either use your email, use a Gmail, and there are a couple other options as well. Now, having said that, one thing I also want to drive home is yes, as you work, just like any company, Wix at the bottom is always going to be asking you, hey, do you want to upgrade to premium? One of the things with premium is instead of having Wix.com in your URL, it, what it's going to do is it's actually going to remove that so you could have like www.mysite.com. Not a requirement, uh, especially if you're putting it on your portfolio, uh, resume, etc. Maybe you even use a QR code on a business card or something. The .com, nobody's really going to bat an eye at that. In my opinion, the only time you really kind of see that is like, for instance, if I was looking for hiring a, oh, if I was actually looking to hire like maybe a web developer or a full stack developer, if they, that, that type of person with that type of skill sets is giving me a Wix site instead of building their own website, I might kind of sit there and wonder why. Uh, but also, you know, these WYSIWYGs are great for, you need to get a portfolio site or a website up very, very quickly. So excellent choices. So what you see here is you have behind the scenes right now where all of your sites are stored. And for this, you're going to want to create a new site. Now, Wix really holds your hand as far as going through and helping you choose. And Wix has even evolved to, as you can see on my screen here, it's starting to integrate AI. However, I want to talk about setting up without AI. So we'll go ahead and click on that and it's going to think for a second. And you can already see, you know, it kind of walks you through it. So for instance, I say, you know what, I need a portfolio. And then it's asking you, okay, great. What type of portfolio? For this demo, I'll choose the game design portfolio. I'm choosing this one because I also want to talk about the types of websites that you're getting when you choose certain ones. Um, what would you like to call your website? Uh, Dr. D Game Portfolio. As far as naming your website, if you can, I would try to do something like your name as much as possible. I wouldn't make it some off the wall, you know, like if you have a gamer tag, for instance, or if you have a online persona, unless it's very, very well known, I would try to stick to something a little bit more professional. So I'm going to go ahead and say next here. Now, what's really great is out of the gate, you know, Wix is taking a guess at what do you want to include? So out of the gate, it wants to just have, you know, built in, you have a portfolio. Do you have an Instagram feed? If you don't, you can uncheck that. Also too, do you want to have any sort of, you know, as far as, I mean, you can do everything here, bookings, musics, chat, events, etc., blog. Um, I would out just starting out if you are brand new to WYSIWYGS, I would just leave the default. Don't even worry about these other options yet. Once you get, you know, your brand takes off, etc., then you can start worrying about those. For right now, I just want a portfolio to show my work and somewhere to host my resume as I apply to jobs. So we're going to go ahead and say next. And notice here you've got a couple of options. It's going to ask you if you want to go back to your dashboard or if you want to start designing with a template. Honestly, the templates can be really helpful to get you off the ground quickly. Now, yes, you can choose the custom built site. In my experience though, I've 
even despite giving Wix the information that I needed, I felt like, I guess maybe because of the control I wanted, that I ended up having to go back and undo and redo a lot of things. So I'm gonna go with a template here because I also wanna show folks all of the different templates. Okay. So as you can see, you've got some really just right out of the gate, eye-catching templates. So for instance here, you can hover over any of these and either begin to edit or view them. So we're gonna view this first one. I mean, total eye-catching, you know, super duper design and stuff like that. Great work, etc. Got your navigation up here, but this is where it can be kind of intimidating. This is a great portfolio website. However, how much will it overshadow your own work? There's a lot of resolution choices that need to be made, for instance, as far as like the backdrop here, the images, um, all of the graphics that are engaged in here. Notice how high resolution like the models are, etc. For those that are starting out as far as just, you know, making your first portfolio, let me X out of the preview here. I really advise my students and it's up to you. It is you putting your foot forward. What are you most comfortable with? I would personally go with something a little bit more neutral. Like for instance here, to me, with the different graphics and things like that, just because this is a graphic design portfolio doesn't mean that you can't also put videos in here as well. You can add those elements once you start editing the site. Another nice thing too about Wix across the board, and it's more prevalent in this example, is up in the right hand corner here, you can see it also gives you a preview of what it'll look like on a handheld device. I've been saying this for several years now to my classes and students, you can't guarantee that when somebody goes and looks at your portfolio, they're gonna be sitting at a desktop. Anymore, the odds are good they may be looking at it on an iPad, an iPhone, etc. So you need to make sure that you have a responsive web design in place. As a web developer, yes, we learn those skills to set up websites like that. But for those of you who are more focused on the design side, it's helpful to have these WYSIWYGs that will do that automatically for you. So just to take you through a couple more that I think are pretty decent here. Um, you've also got the age old, you know, introducing yourself out of the gate. Um, I guess I'd call this classic here, even the second one here and this one down here. Uh, I don't know, personally, I think, you know, they've kind of been overdone a little bit. Um, here's another great one as far as from a designer standpoint. You also have some nice ones here, like just a standard showcase without even having colors, typefaces, etc. So you can do the designing. So there are options that really the first step in a portfolio draft is actually trying to figure out, okay, which of these do I actually wanna work with? So for instance here, I'm actually gonna jump back real quick. I actually really liked, up at the top here, I thought it was, yeah, like I really like this one. So I'm gonna choose edit. And this is one of the nice things about how WYSIWYGs have evolved from say Adobe Dreamweaver is this is directly done in your browser. You don't need to have any special software uh, so you can log in anywhere and start editing your website. Once again, you can see that it's kind of setting up, um, you know, it wants to write your content for you. We're gonna just X out of this here. Now the way that Wix works here, and let me see if I can actually, there we go. So I'm gonna super zoom in here so folks can see this in the recording. You have a menu bar that pretty much controls all of the different elements of your web page. that if you wanna add different elements, navigate through your pages and menus. So here you can see, for example, you have the overall site map as far as the little home icon showing that projects is your home. You also have the profile page, 
navigate your contact page, which is actually an anchor, and then the actual portfolio page itself. So let me go ahead here. We'll work with the portfolio page here. So let's take a look at what's going on here. And I'm actually going to have to zoom back out. So good stuff. So, and this is kind of one of the beauties of working in a WYSIWYG is I can just double click on elements here. So I double clicked on the text and now I can edit the text. And then it brings up the entire portfolio element here. And you can see that you can actually manage and edit all of the different projects that you may have in that page. So I might say, for example, 3D artwork, and I could say, you know, 3D modeling and animation done in Autodesk Maya throughout my academic career. And let's go ahead and save this. All right, so now you can see that it's said that it's saved. And notice how it automatically updates for you. And then it'll bring up each of those pictures. And this is how you would keep kind of going with this. So you can also, the big things to remember with Wix is on the left hand side, like site design, for instance. What type of text theme do I want? Do I actually like the text that I'm using here? as far as a heading font. Maybe I want this to be a little bit more bolded there. Note, you are kind of constrained as far as choices go. You don't have the freedom that if you were designing your own website. But on the flip side, again, right now, the way I'm demoing this, this is more about quickly getting a website up and running for portfolio work to, so that you can go on the job market. You also have here, as far as app market, if you wanted to add more to your website, there's tons of things out here. You know, PDF viewers, social media feeds, etc. These types of things I wouldn't worry about right now. Get the core portfolio in place, then you can worry about, you know, if you want to show off anything on social media. Uh, do you follow neat things on Twitter or Instagram, etc. You also too have as far as a little bit of photo Im free images and videos, but also to up here under media, there's an upload that you can do as well, that you can upload your files as needed. The last thing I'd like to kind of talk about with this overall website here, and so you're working on your portfolio, you're going through everything is it will auto save but you can go ahead and make sure that you save. And for right now, just use the Wix.com domain. That's okay. So I'm gonna save and continue. So this is a good thing. This means that you saved your work. You can then preview the page if you want to. Now preview means that you have not actually published anything. This is just you personally. So I can go ahead and click. You can see the project pops up with all of the different information, uh, things like that. At any point in time, you can come back up to the right hand side to go back to the editor or publish. But also I want to point to the left hand side here. Notice that you can actually switch to mobile. So you can also test your site as far as looking at what it would look like on a handheld device, which is really, really important as far as design goes. So I could go back to the editor now that I've previewed it. And I'm gonna skip over this because we have met our website. And I'm gonna switch back to that desktop design there so we can look. And you're back in business here. The only thing to point out is that if you are in a course with me and you're looking at this, I'm going to need you to publish so that I can look over your website. So 
once you publish though that means anybody can see it i wouldn't stress about it as far as your development process you know really unless you actually send the website to somebody as far as the url is concerned then you know people can start to see it but otherwise that's what i wanted to give you kind of an overview as far as wix is concerned and getting started you can see they have very stunning very kind of new age, uh, you know, inline web designs ready to go. And then if I come back here, let me go ahead and just click here back on my account. You can see now it has recorded my portfolio site. I can either select the site. You also have options that you can, you know, rename site, preview site. If you wanted to, you can add a collaborator. So for some folks, this may be, you know, me, for example, that you may want me to just be able to see what you can do. But otherwise, those are your primary controls, just getting you started with Wix. Uh, it's a very, out of, I'd say out of all of the different sites, uh, I'd say Wix is pretty intuitive. But honestly, if you work in like WordPress.com, you can fumble your way through Wix and vice versa. So... Hopefully this helps as far as making that final decision on your portfolio websites.